Welcome to another episode of What Did the Patients Say with Drs. Dana and Lauren Brindisi, sisters and owners of Carolina Functional Neurology Center. We are providing you answers to frequently asked questions and bringing you inside information from real conversations we have with patients on a daily basis. Our goal is to spread the truth on health and healing because we believe everyone deserves to know the answers. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of What Did the Patient Say? I am Dr. Dana Brindisi, and today I'm joined by Dr. Haley Gerard. We are so excited for this episode. We've talked a lot in this past year, if you guys have been following us, about all the things that Carolina Functional Neurology Center has been doing, and we've been rolling out a lot of different stuff for 2024. Um, This is probably my most favorite exciting thing that we're going to be doing. So this is Dr. Haley Gerard. She is joining us as our newest partner at Carolina Functional Neurology Center, and she will be opening up an office with us in New England. Yes. Thank you for joining me today. Yes. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Yeah. So today just is about telling people who you are, what you do, um, why you want to join the CFNC team, um, Mm -hmm. and just get people to get to know you. Um, I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a very, very long time. Dr. Jordan and I went to Palmer, Florida together. Uh, We were about a year apart in school. I think one of the things that I'm most excited about you joining our team is the experience that you're going to bring to the office. Um, Everybody knows that we have a lot of students and we're doing a lot of training and we have a lot of interns that come to the office because students want to learn from us and what we do. Um, But opening up a new location and having somebody that's been in practice for 11 years, I think is invaluable. Mm. And I'm just super excited. So why don't you start by just kind of introducing yourself, whatever you want to share personally and professionally, and then kind of let everybody know how you got into chiropractic and what made you decide to become a, a chiropractic neurologist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, my name is Dr. Haley Gerard. Like uh, Dr. Brindisi already said, I grew up in a small town in Southwest Virginia. Um, I was interested in, you know, the medical field from, you know, the time that I was really young. For as long as I can remember, I always just kind of imagined myself being a doctor, and I never knew exactly what that meant. Um, you know, I didn't have a specific specialty that I was really drawn to early on. But when I was in sixth grade, my parents started taking me to see a chiropractor to get adjusted because I was running a lot and playing sports. And they had been longtime chiropractic patients and just understood the value. Um, And of course, I didn't quite get it then. But I developed such a great relationship with my chiropractor that even when I moved away for undergrad, you know, I would go home for spring break and I would make sure to schedule an appointment just to go in and get adjusted. And, you know, he was always just very involved in what I was doing and what I was interested in. And, you know, he really knew me and it wasn't just a quick check in, get adjusted and then leave by someone who didn't know me. And that was so different than any other provider that I had ever, you know, worked with for any other reason. Um, And so when I was an undergrad, he kind of planted the seed, you know, I was on the pre-med track, but it was such a generalized thing. And he started talking to me about, well, have you ever considered going to chiropractic school? And I was like, well, not specifically, but that makes total sense because I love coming here to see you. I love what you do, you know, and how I feel with this type of treatment. I was always very healthy and active. And um, so, yeah, I started the search and I landed at Palmer in Florida and best decision I could have ever made. Um, And about a year into school, I was introduced to the field of functional neurology. Um, Dr. Carrick came to our school and did a a talk for a first Friday event and, you know, had some video. I put that event on. Yes. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Neuro club. Um, (laughs) And I was just fascinated. I mean, I was loving school, you know, I was a year in, so learning more and more, but um, he came and he started to present neurology in a way that, you know, I just never even knew was possible, like video clips of these functional exams and different things and showing how the patient could change, you know, their their findings could change within five, 10 minutes of doing some of, you know, it seemed like magic before I knew what was actually happening. And I was just fascinated. Um, 
the very next weekend, you know, one of my good friends and I were scheduled to go to a motion palpation seminar and we reached out to see if there was any penalty for canceling and we went to a CARIC seminar instead. Um, and the rest is history. What was your first CARIC seminar? Uh, module 813, pain. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh right gosh. in the middle of the whole program. Not like the greatest place to start, but it, it all worked out. <laughs> it's so interesting now because they all do it on demand. So like Dr. Gerard and I were in school at the same time. We were about a year apart. We did most of our neuro training together. So like when we did neuro training, we had to all pack in a car as students, drive an hour to Orlando, stay for the weekend and like do mm -hmm. in-person seminars. And it's like, I think that's really when we started to you know, become more of acquaintances and things like that. Um, and I, yeah, I guess I knew that you did chiropractic as a kid, but um, I think so many of us, like, you know, we always do an introduction with any of the new doctors that we hire and things like that. And obviously this is such like a special episode because you're not somebody that we're hiring. Like you're, you are a partner and an owner in this company along with Lauren and I. And so like, that's just so awesome. But like we all have very similar stories when it comes to like functional neurology we're like just in awe of what they were doing like i kind of knew about it prior to going to chiropractic school but when i sat in my first seminar with dr tom Culleton and he showed me like pre and post videos of this lady who had hemi neglect syndrome from a, a massive brain injury mm -hmm. i was like there's no turning back now like <laughs> you can't unsee this stuff and yeah. Yeah. So um, it is just fascinating. So mm -hmm. you've had, you know, in your 11 years career, um, mm -hmm. you've held a lot of different roles. You've worked in several different offices. Mm -hmm. um, kind of share your timeline and maybe some like different pearls of wisdom you've learned along the way from different practices. Some of them, I think, weren't even functional neurology practices, right? Some of right. them are just general Cairo. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely jumped around a little bit. So, you know, you kind of led me to the internship that I did before graduating um, here in oh, Maine. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, come <laughs> over to Maine with me. <laughs> it's wonderful. And so I did. And I fell in love right away with the practice and the area. And, um, gosh, it's like it, all a blur. Like we were roommates at one point in Maine when you did your mm -hmm. internship. Yep. So, you know, when I graduated from chiropractic school, um, I, I knew that I wanted to stay in Maine because I had just fallen in love with the area, but there wasn't an opportunity for me to work at that office right away. So did a generalized job search, found an office in Rhode Island, um, went down for an interview, very hopeful that he would offer me the job, you know, on the spot. And everyone tried to talk some sense into me and say, like, that's not how these things work. But the interview went really well, offered me the job. And so I decided to move to Rhode Island. And um, it was a, you know, just a, a basic regular chiropractic office, but it was a good place to start for the first several months and just gain experience in interacting with patients in the real world and, you know, adjusting a lot of people every day. Um, and not, not long after that, an opportunity for me to rejoin the practice in Maine opened up. Um, and it was really exciting to come back. And I kind of headed up the neuro rehab side of things for a while. So, you know, even though I was a licensed doctor, I didn't fully treat patients in the full scope. Um, you know, I kind of helped with exams and did VNG and CAPS testing and wrote up all the findings and really worked with the patients one on one to implement the neurotherapy. So I was spending 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time with a patient. Um, and I mean, I just, I fell in love with that aspect of things, you know, like really getting to see a patient progress from day to day and spend that quality time with them and get to know them on a deeper level than just how are you feeling today? Okay, great. I'm going to adjust you and send you on your way. Like just adding in the neuro portion of treatment, you know, obviously opens up the door to treating more complex patients in the first place, but then spending that time with them for their rehab, you know, you just get to go to like such a deeper place with patients. And I really value that, um, getting to know, getting to know patients. And there are still patients from back then 10 years ago that I treated, you know, in that capacity that I'm close with and good friends with, or they ended up coming back to the office for new injuries that happened. And now I'm treating them in a different 
capacity or I was able to treat them in a different capacity later on. Um, so then I met my now husband and he had a job opportunity in Florida. And so we moved not long after we got married, um, which was about two years after I, you know, had started that job in Maine. So we moved to Florida with no real job plan for me. You know, it was kind of going for him. And, you know, I ended up at another chiropractic neurology office, but this time in the full capacity of okay, well, you're the doctor, you examine the patient, you come up with a treatment plan, you adjust them, you do the whole thing, which honestly I was intimidated by at first, you know, because I had been in this other role that was kind of comfortable and easy. Um, so it was, you know, it really pushed me, it pushed the boundaries, um, but I did it and I grew a ton and I found out that, oh, I really love this and I can do it. Um, and we ended up only being down there for about a year for various reasons, we just really missed Maine. Um, so then we came back and again, I worked at another uh, regular chiropractic. Gosh, I forgot that you worked like down east, right? Where were you? In Bath. Um, yep, I worked at Holland Chiropractic with Dr. Rock for about a year, which again, was another great experience. He's just such a wonderful doctor, very high volume practice. So I got a ton of experience adjusting patients. Um, and then in that time, I had my first child. So my daughter Eliza was born um, at the end of 2017. And, you know, after going back to work after maternity leave, just the commute was a lot. We needed different, you know, it was a different season. We needed things to change. Um, and the timing is always perfect for everything. Um, so not long after she was born, you know, Dr. MacArthur, who had given me the opportunity in Maine in the first place, reached out and asked if I wanted to come back to Portland Chiropractic Neurology. And, you know, I did. And it was there for six, six plus years. Um, again, just growing more and more, treating patients in that full capacity, learning so much from him, um, you know, developing so many close relationships with, with coworkers and patients and really treating a full range of, you know, regular chiropractic back pain, neck pain patients to vertigo, concussion, migraine, um, dysautonomia, dystonia, like all the, all the neuro cases that you can possibly think of as well. Um, and it was, it, it has been a great, you know, such a great experience to again, grow and become so much more confident in that role of full patient management. Um, and then, yeah, here we are, another opportunity presented itself mm -hmm. and uh, just for all the things, um, you know, that I'm ready for personally and professionally and, you know, just the continuing to grow in the scope of patients that I'm able to address and kind of get back to what I really started to love about neurology and spending more one-on-one -on -one time with patients in the actual treatment modality side of things. Like, that's one of the things I'm most excited about. Um if, in joining this team and the way that Carolina Functional Neurology Center runs with the doctor providing so many of the one-on-one -on -one neurotherapies and the time and the, you know, the attention to detail and the ability to make day-to-day -day changes in treatment that that brings. Um, I'm really excited about that. I love that. you Your resume is impressive. And <laughs> You know, it's like wife, mom, doctor, mm -hmm. business owner. Here we I've go. Two, two other kids since since the daughter too. So two wild little boys at this point too. So they really keep me on my toes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys are busy. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think one of the things that Carolina Functional Neurology Center does the best is the time spent with patients and the fact that a lot of that time to your point is spent with the doctor um you see us on every visit as a patient we are changing your neuro rehab in real time based on your mm -hmm. response and what you and your brain need for that day and it's like mm -hmm. we always are educating patients and explaining to them that we can modify or progress their neurotherapy exercises based on their brain's capacity to handle what we're doing. And I think mm -hmm. that is truly where we see changes that 
they can't get everywhere else. Um, and as our company grows, like that's something that's so important to Lauren and I, and we know so important to you, um, like that will never change. You mm -hmm. know, it's like we keep saying like our goal is to like help educate new doctors and help provide the highest quality of care to as many people as possible by opening up other locations and doing things like we're talking about today without compromising patient care. Mm -hmm. um, we want all the offices to feel like you're walking into a mom and pop office, even though, you know, it's kind of crazy. Like we're not that anymore. You know, we have so much going on as a company as a whole, um, mm -hmm. but bringing on providers like yourself to have your expertise and to align with like what we want as a company, what we want for all of our employees and our partners and what we want for the patients themselves. And mm -hmm. people just seem to be more and more sick and, it's like they need this type of care. Yep. So I just, I know, I've already said it a million times. It's like, <laughs> this is just so exciting. And I just hope that people um, can kind of grasp the breadth and depth of your knowledge opening up this new clinic. It's like you're just bringing so much different experience to CFNC New England and to the patients there. Mm -hmm. And we're so excited to be able to offer a location where people from New York, people from Pennsylvania, Vermont, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maine, like there's somewhere easy and accessible for them to be. Right. That's exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Um, what do you want people to know about? you know, your approach to patient care and just kind of what you're most excited about to to open these doors and start up this new adventure and. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think really it's just what I touched on. Like, I'm just so excited to be able to spend the full chunk of time with patients, um, you know, modifying their treatments day to day. Like I, I just, I know the value in that with how quickly people are able to progress when, like you said, any given day or any given session, morning versus afternoon, their brain's capacity is going to change. Um, and unless the doctor is really paying attention to those details, their, their treatments can't be modified in real time. Um, you know, so to just have the opportunity to continue to offer access, like you said, to people suffering from these conditions that seem like they're becoming more and more prevalent, you know, for lots of different reasons. We don't have to get into that, but <laughs> so many people need another episode. <laughs> so many people need this type of care. Um, and it's so just fulfilling to be able to help people who, you know, have tried all the other things, you know, a lot of times, unfortunately, where some of the last places that people stop after exploring every other option and hopefully as we grow more and more that will change you know they'll know to come to us first when they start to have these issues but you know it's it's so fulfilling to see that you know we're able to offer people hope when they've tried everything else and then you know i can't tell you how many times people are like wow this is the first time this has ever been explained to me this is the first time that any of this has ever been made to make sense. Like every other doctor looks at my scans and tells me that things are normal. And, you know, just not many providers look at neurology in a functional way or blood work, you know, the metabolic side of things is something else that I'm really excited to be able to incorporate because it's such an important piece and to be able to assess just the full picture of the patient every single time and to not, you know, be stuck in one lane, but have to ignore the other because of whatever constraints um, to be able to offer that to people and offer them hope. And yeah, I'm just really excited about all of it. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's so awesome. We talk about all the time, like Lauren and I talk about like how cool our jobs are. You know, mm -hmm. it's like we get to do what we love, um, you know, and you know, we wouldn't be sitting here having this conversation if you didn't feel the same way. Like you've been in practice for 11 years. Like that's mm -hmm. not a small amount of time. And it's like you really 
have to have a passion and a drive to like do this type of work um, and help help the patients that we see. Um, and it's just like every day, it, it doesn't matter, even though we see it day in and day out, like every patient every day, like every little bit of progress that people make, it's like we still mm -hmm. celebrate these small wins because they've been sometimes years and years and years without even a little bit of progress or things like that. Um, right. And it becomes a environment where we get to celebrate that by nature of what we do and how we do it. And it's like, it's so hard to explain how it's different than, you know, maybe other functional neurology practices or things like that. And, you know, mm -hmm. some people are very similar to what we do. Um, but I think there's like a broad spectrum of how, you know, people practice this type of medicine, just like there's a broad spectrum of how people practice traditional medicine, you know? Right. Um, but yeah, I've kind of, we've kind of married the like traditional sense of chiropractic with more of like an integrative medicine type scenario where it's like we see patients for a long period of time, like their visit time, you know, is, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere could be 30 minutes could be, you know, multiple hours in a day, you know, it just kind of depends on how we as a providers obviously think that they need to be scheduled. Um, but it, having that flexibility and how we do it just opens up so many doors for mm -hmm. the people that are walking into our office. So, yeah. yeah. So 11 years into practice yes. and you decided to take the leap. You trust <laughs> Lauren and I enough that, <laughs> I sure that do. <laughs> you are going to be a partner and a business owner. Like, what does that mean to you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a leap that I never really imagined myself taking, you know, um, I've always said I don't want to own my own business, you know, I, I'm happy to be the employee, but, you know, the the needs of I think myself and my family have just continued to, to change and, you know, this opportunity literally presented mm -hmm. itself at the most perfect time. Um, you know, I never could have come up with this on my own, in my own timing or strength or anything like that. Um, everything really is just so perfectly orchestrated, um, you know, and to, to just take more risk and more responsibility. Um, I'm excited to do that um, because I know that just changes the level of investment that I have, you know, even in even in patient care day to day. And I'm just excited to have the opportunity to be in that role, um, you know, and to model that for my family. Yeah, to model that for my family and my kids and, you know, just to be that example. But, you know, that's not even the main reason. It's just. But it's uh, such a wonderful reason. It's like, mm -hmm. you, yeah. And I think as women, too, I think what I find to be so awesome Dr. Peterson is, we we are fully open to all the men as well. It just so happens to me that we mostly have women. Um, it is a 100% woman owned company. Um, and I'm sure that will change over time. Um, but that's something that as a woman, now as a mom and a wife and something that like, I just am so proud of, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it's so cool to like, we've been friends for a long time and, you know, I, all my friends don't also work for CFNC, you know, so it's like the opportunity wouldn't be here if, you know, we didn't also have a great professional relationship and, you know, we've had the opportunity to work side by side together. Like we know each other's work ethic, you know, we know each other on, on multiple levels and, um, but yeah, I think to to be the example for your family and especially you, like you have a daughter. Like, I think that is just like so amazing for Eliza to be able to grow up and see like her mom, like creating a company and like just doing all of this stuff. And like, you're mm -hmm. you know, just being a doctor in and of itself is amazing, you know, but it's like to add this layer onto it. And it's like, our kids see how hard we work and the fact that we're doing this passionately to like help other people, um, mm -hmm. I think is, yeah, amazing. Yeah. I think it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So. I'm very excited. Ah, oh my goodness. Okay. So CFNC New England will yeah. be open this fall. Mm -hmm. 
be in Southern Maine. We're super excited about it. Dr. Gerard is going to be um, starting taking consultations to for patients who are wanting to have a consultation with you to just get more information about CFNC as a whole and kind of what that looks like and how we schedule and things like that. Um, yep. So for those patients who are in the New England area and interested in getting help in this capacity, follow along with us. Um, we'll be posting as soon as everything's ready to go. And maybe by the time everyone sees this video, it'll already be up and running. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also very possible um, mm -hmm. in terms of being able to, you know, schedule consultations with you and things like that. Um, right. Some people do, some people don't. So if people are like, I definitely want to schedule, I'm, you know, wherever. And this makes the most sense for me to come to this office. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Stay tuned for the opening date because it'll be this fall and we will have a <laughs> date pretty soon. Yeah. Coming soon to a New England state near you. <laughs> well, I love it. Thank you for taking the time to hop on with me today and just yes. be open and vulnerable and like show people who the wonderful person that you are. And I know that it, everyone will easily see very quickly, like just your, your knowledge and your experience and, you know, You've got, we'll put all your like, you know, accolades and all of the wonderful things that you do <laughs> you know, personally and professionally so people can get to know you even more. But mm -hmm. uh, I always tell everyone, like, I feel like everybody, everyone's smarter than me. Like, I think Dr. Gerard graduated like the top of her class and, you know, just super smarty pants and Eliza just only following in your footsteps. <laughs> Training the next cfnc provider she oh said it'll take think, a while but <laughs> you think that she'll be a, a i wonder if any of our kids will be chiropractic neurologists i mean at the top of her list right now is a uh, scientist and a ballerina so we'll see we'll see how Maybe that progresses you will find a way to do both of those things simultaneously if anyone can it's her <laughs> yeah for sure for mm. sure well it is a pleasure. I am so, so, so excited. Um, everyone stay tuned, like, subscribe. You'll be seeing a lot more of Dr. Gerard in our mm -hmm. videos that we put out online. You know, she'll be doing all the same things that we're doing in terms of the educational content and stuff like that. But if anybody wants to schedule an appointment, either a consultation or a new patient exam or an intensive week or whatever it is that you need, um, stay tuned for how you get a hold of her um, and when we will be scheduling patients. Yes, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye.